Want a fresh new way to stand out among the crowds and sell more books? Whether you're one of our current authors or have self-published on your own, Polished Publishing Group's team can help you increase your sales by converting any of your current titles into professional studio-quality audiobooks with accompanying book trailers or audio infomercials such as this one. And just as it is with all our other publishing services, you'll keep 100% copyright ownership of the end product. We'll return all the finished files to you once the project is complete. Why would you want to produce an audiobook? As Zig Ziglar so aptly put it, people don't buy for logical reasons, they buy for emotional reasons. And here are 1.3 billion emotional reasons to convert your book to audio. The audiobook industry is now reportedly worth over $1.3 billion worldwide as of 2013, seeing a growth rate of a whopping 30% over the past two years, with just a fraction of authors even in the game. Until now. Using Polish Publishing Group's audiobook conversion services, you can get in the game today for a nominal fee. Your audiobook comes with studio narrated voiceovers and professional music scoring chosen by our marketing experts using some of the industry's top notch theatrical scores and soundtracks as heard in the background right now. This allows your listeners to truly feel the experience and emotion of your book, taking them on a high impact journey through sound and imagination. Whether they're listening at work, during a jog, on a plane, or in the car, your listeners will be able to enjoy the experience of your word through high-definition sound. What would you like to produce? Would you like your entire book converted into a studio-quality audiobook with accompanying book trailer that you can sell to prospective buyers? Or would you like to produce an audio infomercial such as this one? that you can distribute free of charge that can be used to promote your ebook, paperback, or hardcover, along with other business services you provide. Polished Publishing Group can help you with both. To get your audience interested in buying your full audiobook, for example, we'll create an accompanying book trailer that you can deliver online to thousands of interested buyers that will generate excitement and anticipation in the form of a short three to five minute excerpt of your high definition studio produced book, compelling them to buy now. We can even show you how to triple the amount of sales on just one audiobook by creating a sequel, series, or trilogy using the sales from part one, for example, to pay for the production of part two. This reduces your upfront financial investment and allows you to earn money before producing the entire series. We'll even jumpstart your audio marketing campaign by promoting it with a Facebook ad campaign designed to reach up to 60,000 specially targeted buyers over a 45-day period at no additional charge to you. The landing page you choose for this Facebook campaign can be the e-commerce site of your choice to drive more sales of the ebook, paperback, hardcover, or audio version of your book. It's up to you. The sky's the limit when you're the copyright owner of your book. And that's not all. Polished Publishing Group knows how important online distribution is to our authors, so we'll ensure your audiobook is for sale on both audiobookie.com and our own online store, shop.polishedpublishinggroup.com, for one full year where you can redirect your customers to buy it and download it. You'll be paid the same royalty rate for any of the audiobooks we sell on your behalf as we pay for our other books. Plus, we'll return all your finished files to you, so you can earn a 100% profit on any of your audiobooks that you sell on your own. How's that for an amazing deal? If you want to produce a book that presents you as a professional writer and industry expert within your field, that book should be completed for you by an industry expert in the book publishing field. That's exactly what Polished Publishing Group is. And here's an excerpt from our founder, publisher, and best-selling author Kim Stafflin's latest title, 
how to publish a best-selling book and sell it worldwide based on value, not price, to show you how our company can help you achieve your goals. I think just about every author can relate to the foreword of this book written by the author of Soul Searching, A.R. Jones. Hindsight, what a wonderful word, one that implies understanding of events after they've happened. If we all had the gift of hindsight, life would be so much simpler and many of our questions would become unnecessary. I am very fortunate to have hindsight at my fingertips when it comes to the self-publishing versus trade publishing conundrum because I own a copy of How to Publish a Book in Canada and sell enough copies to make a profit. I was proud to join Kim Stofland at one of her book signings and to purchase a copy for her to sign for me because I know what it's like to have a signing and feel the joy that comes along with someone excitedly handing you a copy of your blood, sweat, and tears, which you hope will inspire him or her and enhance his or her life in some way. Many, many years ago, I sat at a computer screen and watched as a novel unfolded before my very eyes. I cried and laughed and watched in amazement as my fingers swept lightly across the keys, creating a story that I didn't even know existed within me. I passed around the manuscript to friends, co-workers, and family who were kind enough to be honest in their evaluation of my book. Their feedback was positive and created enough inspiration for me to begin the process of sending off the manuscript to trade publishers within North America. Ugh. After numerous attempts to have my manuscript published and all the work done for me, in my mind, I took my positive but not at this time responses and shelved them for years. During this extensive hiatus, I met Kim. With our boys in the same school class, we saw each other periodically and shared our book interests. I read her books and she read mine. I watched as she self-published and painstakingly worked on sales and marketing, not fully understanding the frustrations she was going through until the day she announced her new creation, Polished Publishing Group, PPG, a supportive self-publishing company that allowed 100% of the finished product to belong to the author. Here was a culmination of her efforts and struggles in the industry to prevent others from going through the same experience regarding publishing. Now that was worth considering. I took my weathered manuscript down from the shelf, dusted it off, took a deep breath, and called Kim. The process of publishing with PPG in all areas was extremely enjoyable and a major learning experience. My concerns and questions were met and answered until the result of all the hard work was revealed in a beautiful professional paperback copy of my book with my photo on the back, a dream made into reality. However, and this is where the hindsight comes back into play, for as much as I had Kim and her staff at my fingertips, how I wish that her own book, How to Publish a Book in Canada, had been available to me before I had begun the process. All you lucky people out there who have it now, and will also be holding this enhancement of her knowledge of the publishing industry, how to publish a best-selling book and sell it worldwide based on value, not price, will be able to go into publishing your own books with a keen understanding of the publishing industry and the process itself. Now people outside of Canada can benefit from Kim's knowledge and learn how to prepare a manuscript and sell the books when published. You won't have as many questions as I did because you will have the answers beforehand and can proceed joyfully knowing that you will finally reach your dream of publishing your own work. When I first wrote my manuscript, self-publishing was perceived as the other option, the one where you weren't of sufficient interest for a trade publisher to pick you up and shoot your book to the top of the charts. Well, now life has moved on, hasn't it? We are now surrounded by e-this and e-that, along with social media. Thus, the rules have changed drastically. With a balance between physical books, offering their scent of the unknown and dog-eared knowledge, and the convenience and intrigue of the e-book with virtual paper edges and electronic sticky notes, the possibilities are endless, and Kim outlines all these options in her books. I urge all of you would-be authors to take the plunge and go ahead with your dreams after gaining the knowledge from Kim's books. I was terrified to my very core with this whole process and still am when it comes to sales and marketing. However, with guidance, I can make the effort and knowledge is still powerful, so I absorb and take the plunge anyway. 
The essence of my own book, Soul Searching, comes into play here. Within its pages, it weaves an understanding of life that reflects our own lives as we live them day by day, allowing us, perhaps, to make more beneficial choices and to understand all the opportunities that we face in life and death. The two most intriguing experiences that we know. If I had read my own book when I was 20, it would have saved me a lot of time, just as I know having Kim's book will save many others ahead of me. I knew that Kim's presence in my life was significant when timing and knowledge blended to allow me an opportunity to offer my story to others, just as she has been able to offer you hers. Maybe this is your time. The fact that you have this book in your hands tells you that at least you have the opportunity before you. As I end my brief words here and you start upon yours, and as an author of a fiction novel, I want you to know that the information in Kim's books can be applied to fiction and to nonfiction. Your published book has become your own business, and you will need information and techniques to make it successful. Kim has provided these techniques, and her book has become a bestseller. Therefore, you or I too can become successful and can publish a best-selling book. Believe me when I say that you might never be satisfied with your constant overlooking of commas and parentheses and sentence structure, etc., but you will be satisfied when an excited someone passes your copy of your shiny and polished book and says, Would you please sign this for me? Sound familiar? And that sets the tone for a truly humanistic and enlightening look at book publishing around the world, written by an entrepreneur who truly understands the heart of an author, because she was an author first before she ever became the founder and publisher of Polished Publishing Group. Whether you're an individual or a business owner, you'll find this book helpful. It contains answers to basically every question you've ever had about how to write, publish, copyright, market, sell, price, print, and distribute a book, no matter what format of book you're publishing anywhere in the world. Ebooks, paperbacks, hardcovers, and now even audiobooks. On that note, here's an excerpt from Section 3 on Book Sales and Marketing, where authors are encouraged to put more thought into the retail price they set for their book, rather than just following the well-intentioned but somewhat ill-informed crowds of authors who simply go with the lowest price. Do you offer the best value or the best price? Presumably you bought this book because you want to know how to present yourself as an industry expert in your field by publishing a professional quality book that you can sell commercially. If this is the case, you need to start thinking about the sales and marketing aspect of book publishing long before you even finish writing your book. This is why the book sales and marketing section of this book lands before the modern book publishing process section. It's that important to your overall success. First and foremost, it is crucial to understand that nobody and nothing can be everything to everyone. So you must think about what you represent, what the core intention of your book truly is, and who your customers are long before you put the whole package together. Authors need to ask themselves, do I offer the best value in my field or do I offer the best price? Who is going to want to read my book and why? What are their personal principles? In other words, what do they appreciate most when they're looking for this particular thing that I'm selling? The best value or the best price? For those of you who personally rate price ahead of value or who automatically assume that everyone else does, think again. There are many different people in this world with many different needs and reasons for buying various books. If you want to reach a certain demographic, you must understand their motives and market to them very clearly and consistently. In other words, once you've determined what you represent, which should match what your desired clients desire most, you now must ensure that your entire marketing strategy, from the wording inside your book to the design of your cover to the price tag you've attached to every version of that book, is consistent across the board. Make a clear decision early on about who you are and to whom you are selling the book, and then be true to that vision through and through. When to sell based on value, not price. Both types of marketing have an appropriate time and place. However, most people are already pretty comfortable with price-based selling, 
i.e. offering sales and discounts to try to undercut the competition's price. Therefore, we're going to focus on value-based selling here instead. It's an important skill to master because at the end of the day, anyone can sell on price. But here's the biggest problem with that plan. If price is the only thing you've got, and then someone else with a similar offering comes in at a lower price than you can match, you're done. You're finished. You've got nowhere else to go. However, if you can learn how to sell based on perceived value right from the start, you'll always be able to justify your price as it is. You can even increase that price down the road by adding even more value to your overall offering. Here are a few examples in various contexts intended to illustrate the point that it's sometimes better to sell based on value rather than on price. The food industry. Sometimes when people go out for dinner, they just want a fast, cheap hamburger at a fast food restaurant. They're in a rush, they're hungry, they're craving beef, they just want something on the go that doesn't cost too much. Other times, those same people might want to go out for dinner and enjoy a gourmet hamburger. It's all beef, right? So why would anyone be willing to pay more for one burger than the other? It's because sometimes they desire better service and a more relaxed, enjoyable dining experience at a higher-priced restaurant. Also, that gourmet burger was prepared by a professional chef who has years of experience preparing artistic, delicious food, and that experience commands a higher price. On that note, if you went out to a high-priced restaurant expecting to purchase a gourmet burger and that burger was marked as on sale and priced the same as a fast food burger, would you not question the quality of the beef? Case in point, if you say that what you are selling is valuable and you wish to position yourself as an expert in your field, whatever you're selling, whether a burger or a book, should be priced to reflect that value. The price should be consistent with the very clear message that you are trying to send. Otherwise, people will question it and probably purchase elsewhere. The Moving Industry Let's say that you are the director of the records management department at a large corporation that has recently acquired another company. Your job is to hire a professional mover to transfer all the newly acquired confidential files from their current location to your offices downtown. You publish a call for tenders in your local newspaper to see what offers come in. One offer comes in from a local moving company that positions itself as always having the best price. Other than that, all it has to offer is a free estimate, guaranteed delivery date, and both local and long-distance relocations for businesses and residential clients. However, a second offer comes in that is more than triple the price offered by the standard moving company. This mover positions itself as a leader in the records management industry with over 60 years experience in moving confidential files for all types and sizes of business clients. The primary mandate is to protect the confidentiality and integrity of every client's files. Every employee who works for this company must undergo and pass a criminal check. Plus, they are all put through a rigorous training program to ensure that they have a strong understanding of records management, retention, and classification schedules before they are ever allowed to touch a client's information. File moves can be managed in whatever way best suits the client, i.e. if it is important for the client to be able to access these files at all times throughout the move, this can be arranged. Finally, this mover will not only move all of the records, but it will also do a file conversion at the same time so that all of the files from the old company are labeled in the same way that the files are labeled at the new company, ensuring continuity in all the information, making it easier and more efficient for employees to find it when they need it. As the director of the records management department at a large corporation who values confidentiality, efficiency, and continuity of information above all else, which of these movers would you be most likely to choose? I don't think I have to tell you that this client went with the second, higher-priced mover. Sometimes price is the most important thing in the moving industry. However, sometimes value and security is more important. It all depends on the type of move being done. As with every other industry, it is important to know your customer before you create your marketing strategy, and then to make sure that your price is consistent with that strategy. This will ensure that you make the sale, because your customers will be more apt to trust what you're telling them. The Book Industry 
Let's say that an aspiring author wants to self-publish a professional quality best-selling e-book that can stand proudly beside a trade published bestseller. He decides to buy an e-book written by someone else on the topic to educate himself about the industry. The first e-book he comes across costs only $3.99. It is titled How to Self-Publish an E-Book Quickly and Easily. He scrolls through the first couple of pages to review the content of the book and notices quite a few typos riddled throughout. There are bad breaks, widows, and orphans everywhere. Also, important components are missing from the book, such as a bibliography stating the legitimate sources of important sales statistics and claims. The primary message of this book is that it's easy to publish an e-book quickly and cheaply, and there's no need to invest in a professional copy editor, designer, or proofreader to help produce it. The second e-book he comes across costs $19.99, and it is titled How to Publish a Best-Selling E-Book. He scrolls through the first couple of pages to review the content of the book and notices how much more polished and professional this book appears. All the proper components of a professional quality book are included. He notices in the author's biographical sketch that this book was written by a professional writer and book publisher with over 20 years of experience in sales, marketing, and book publishing. In addition, in a whole section of this book, the author discusses various ways to market and sell e-books to customers. Which book is this aspiring author going to buy? Keeping in mind that his primary goal is not only to publish an e-book, but to publish a best-selling e-book. He will most likely go with the second, more expensive example. In this case, value is more important than price. What kind of audiobook would you like Polished Publishing Group to help you produce? An infomercial, such as this one, that provides a little teaser of the content inside the retail e-book, paperback, or hardcover version of your book. Infomercials are distributed free of charge to your potential clients to drive more traffic to the e-commerce site where they can buy a copy of that version of the book. Or would you rather have your whole book converted into a studio quality audiobook with accompanying book trailer that you can sell to prospective buyers on its own? Visit www.polishedpublishinggroup.com today and drop us a line through our contact page. Share your vision with us and let us customize an audio program for your book. You'll be amazed at the value you'll receive for a nominal investment. Make sure you also pick up a copy of How to Publish a Best-Selling Book and sell it worldwide based on value, not price, in either paperback format from Amazon's group of sites or in ebook format through any of Kobo's apps and devices, including desktop, e-readers, tablets, Apple, Android, BlackBerry, or Windows. The information contained within is an invaluable resource for every author looking for some tried and true methods to sell more books.